Welcome back. Well, Paul Wilbur is known worldwide as an anointed messianic worship leader. And now he's also an author with a book called Touching the Heart of God. Take a look. Paul Wilbur has been singing messianic worship music for over 35 years. With over 20 albums recorded in four different languages, Paul has helped believers around the world draw closer to God. In his newest album, Revive, Paul brings back some classic worship songs that have inspired generations of Christians. And Paul Wilbur is back with us now. Paul, good to see you again. Thank you, Wendy. Good to see you. You're looking sharp. Thank you. I wish people could see the black leather alligator boots. How about those? These. My wife dresses me, so I'm, I'm in good shape. You said the alligator misses, misses the he, boots. He does so miss the skin, but they're <laughs> comfortable for me. <laughs> we got it shot. You know, we always look sharp. Well, you're in town, of course, to um, lead worship Sunday night for our Rosh Hashanah service here at CBN. What is Rosh Hashanah for those who don't know, and why do we celebrate it? Well, that's a good question. Uh, in my book that we just bumped, Touching the Heart of God, celebrating the calendar of the kingdom, I, I go through a lot of these things. It's uh, for 40 years uh, as a Jewish believer, I've been uh, celebrating these things uh, around the world in over 70 nations and uh, five, six different languages. But the Rosh Hashanah, is the first of the fall feast. There's the spring feast, Passover, mm. Feast of Unleavened Bread, uh, First Fruits, which is Resurrection Day, mm. and then uh, Pentecost or Shavuot. Now, it, when Jesus came the first time, he obviously fulfilled those spring feasts. So we're expecting that his second appearing, he's gonna fulfill the fall feast. Mm. And, and that's why it's so exciting for me to be here uh, with 700 Club and, and Pat and Gordon and the whole family here because there's a revelation here about why. Rosh Hashanah uh, is, a, is another name given to the first feast of the fall, which in the Bible, Leviticus 23, is actually Yom Teruah. It's the day for the sounding of trumpets. Mm. And that word trumpet is not what you think of in a marching band, it's a shofar, mm. which goes back, of course, to Genesis 22, it's a sign of the covenant. When Abraham and Isaac were on top of Mount Moriah, the same mountain where Jesus offered himself, right. um, and Abraham lifted the knife to slay his son, the voice of the angel of the Lord said, hold on here, I right. got another plan. And there was a ram caught by its horn in the thicket. And that's the same horn that sounded. So people wonder why, why would you celebrate these feasts? Aren't these the Jewish feasts? Right. Aren't these? Yeah. for them and not yeah. for us, but I've got a good answer for that. Well, so. Right, because your book is called um, Touching the Heart of God, Embracing the Calendar of the Kingdom. What is the calendar of the kingdom? Another good question. <laughs> we, um, there's only two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of darkness where we all started, separated from God by sin and, and the fallen nature of man. And, and he brought us out of the kingdom of darkness and he's established us in the kingdom of the son that he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. So the kingdom of God has always been made up of Jews and Gentiles, not denominations. And so once we come into the kingdom, like any other kingdom in, in the, the world, the kingdom of Great Britain, they have a series of celebrations every year that celebrates the queen, the king, the when they conquered whoever, well, the, the kingdom of God also has a series of celebrations. They're right there for us in the Bible. And, and that's what the book is all about. You explained it to a friend once and he said, okay, Paul, I think I get it. Um, and how did he sum up, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the, how, how we're supposed to celebrate? Yeah, he, he said, I've, I've got this whole feast thing down. You know, I, um, basically it's this, they tried to kill us, God saved us, Let's eat. <laughs> right. So there are foods that are attached to all these, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's. I mean, there are some fasting, like, um, of course, so Rosh Hashanah is the head of the year. That's the Jewish New Year. And then Yom Kippur comes, what, 10 days later? And that's a, that's a day of fasting and, mm -hmm. and repentance. But what are, what are we missing as Christians if we don't take part in these feasts? Because what you say so beautifully in, in the book is these aren't, Israel's feasts, these aren't Jewish feasts, it's 
over and over it says this is the Lord's feast. Absolutely. So what are we missing if we don't take part? These are invitations from the king. Not commandments. Not commandments, invitations. Okay. From the king to come and celebrate. You know, you could put them in categories, the, the, the Torah, the commandments of God, um, the, the could, the should, <laughs> or the have to. Yeah. And, and these, these are, are not have tos. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do these, but these are invitations from the king. Why do you go to the court of a king? Not to be heard, but because he has something to say. Right. And so these are personal invitations. They're on his day timer every year. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get my people together on these days that I've set apart. And he's chosen these days to reveal amazing things about himself, about yeah. us, about the kingdom. And so why wouldn't we come to the Lord's house to hear from him? And there's so much joy in just the worship. And you've also uh, just completed a new album called Revive. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us a little bit about this. I was very excited, uh, started to listen to some of the music that we recorded 30, all right, 40 years ago. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Impossible. And, and so I pulled out some of the, the Lamb songs, Joel Chernoff and, and the group Lamb, Have You Ever Heard mm. Messiah's Come, that breakout uh, messianic song back in the 70s, and some Israel's Hope stuff from my group back in the 70s and 80s. I went back into the studio and found a real joy in the that the, the anointing on these things is still good. So we updated the style, and uh, it was just well, really a I lot of fun. I love all your albums, and I've just got to say, if people want to get to enter into real worship and, and just feel the presence of God, you've got to get some of Paul Wilbur CDs. His new one is called Revive. Well, Paul, please, you're going to sing for us. I want you to go ahead and head over to the music set right now. Thank you so much. Um, the name of Paul's book is Touching the Heart of God. And to find out how to get a copy, just log on to CBN.com. His latest CD, again, is called Revive. It's available where music is sold. Um, if you get this, I promise you will not be disappointed. And this Sunday night, we invite you to join us for a special Rosh Hashanah celebration in the region. University Chapel. Paul will be leading worship as usual. We'll have messianic dancers. Pat and Gordon Robertson will be featured speakers. And that's Sunday night, September 13th at 7 p.m. in the Regent University Chapel here on the CBN campus. We'll also be streaming it live. So and to watch it live, just go to CBN.com. And now, here is Paul Wilbur singing, He Shall Reign. together with me there at home. Let's worship the Lord. He shall reign over all the earth. A king is coming. Come on, Lord. He said to Jerusalem, you'll not see me again until you say, blessed is he who comes. There shall come forth a rod out of Jesse, and a branch shall grow from his roots. The Spirit of God will rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and truth. And he shall reign over all the earth, 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 he shall, the earth. He shall not judge with the sight of his eyes. Or decide with the hearing of his ear, but with righteousness judge the poor, and decide with fairness for the meek. He shall reign over all the earth. He shall reign over all the earth. He shall reign over all the earth. He shall. Reign Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Take up your throne. Blessed is he who comes. And he shall gather the outcasts of Israel, the dispersed of Judah from all the earth. He 
shall stand as an ensign for his people, and his resting place shall be glorious. He shall reign over all the earth. 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 Come on and sing it. He shall reign. Take up your throne. 